Okay, today we're gonna focus on a little bit of tackling, but in order to get to that process of the actual physical tackle and the technique, we're gonna do a few warm ups. So, a little bit of reaction for feet, foot, legs, and stuff. So, just observe. We start off with the first one, two hands together. Cushion's gonna go first. Finger comes Patricia, and he gets to slap my hands. Swan nothing! Swan nothing! Okay, reaction stuff, so I have to tip. I'm going to start off with tipping. I have to try and tip Ushin's shoulders, and then Ushin will, in the next, will touch my um, outside of my knees. So it's against reaction, but it's good footwork as well. So if we watch Ushin, I used to do my knee. stuff so we start off with a straight arm tug and see who can pull the cross. <laughs> Are you good? Now we're gonna do the hop tug. So on one leg. Try to pull the other part. Are you foot down? You lose. <laughs> on one foot and try and push your opponent over that he has to use two feet in the ground. So how are we gonna one foot? Come on baby <laughs> Because you, you're just stopping my time. So really key to emphasize when you're coaching is your eyes, the player's eyes, what they're seeing, um, their hands, really important, and their footwork, and where their feet are positioned in order to execute the tackle. So it's really important um, to emphasize these key points. For me, in the tackle, the eye should always be on the ball and not the player. Obviously, you adjust your feet and your hands to what the player is doing, but fundamentally, all times the player must be looking at the ball again what's really important in the tackle is to understand um, when your opponent who has the ball is at their weakest and general times when the player with the ball is at their weakest is when they execute a skill so again the focus will be implementing the tackle technique at that particular time when the player is at their weakest but in order to set up that and um, we we'll go through a couple of simple pieces which engages most of our parts of our body but unfortunately, our dominant hand, which is most people's right hand, is what they use for the tackle and can be used incorrectly if in the wrong body position. So what we want is two hands being equally effective in the tackle. So our left and right hand are equally as strong when we want to execute a tackle and not be compensated by using our dominant hand. So we're just going to have to, to spend a couple of minutes exercising the left hand or in the right hand um, equally if possible same as in the skill set so I'm just going to show you a couple of simple things so Ushin I'm going to move this ball around and you're going to start off with only using one hand which is your right hand to tackle the ball hit the ball yeah come on okay so if you look at Ushin his feet are in a square position which is the wrong stance in a tackle all the time your feet should be in a split position so that you can respond when the ball breaks or your opponent makes a run or a play. So he is in a flat position, which is gonna be equally easily turned if the player goes by him. So just change your stance to this position. No, this position, that's it. So he can respond to whatever happens. Come on. Okay, next I wanna work on your left hand less dominant hand which is probably a little bit more time you should spend on because this is the hand you want to improve on so again <laughs> moving the ball around and trying to get the player to use that left hand really good. next one I want to do is same thing with two hands at the same time again it's quite obvious in Gaelic football players continue to use their dominant hand and the other hand is left. But when the two hands are used really good, it can be equally as effective. So just let's watch it washing with two, two hands. Excellent. Really good way to speed your hands is critical. So the quicker you move your hands, the better in and out. So the referee can see a hand being, and a player grabs the hand and uh, gives away a free. But really quick hands using both left and right and a good body position. Really important. The next bit I'm going to show, Ushin's going to have the ball. So it's really important. This is a little bit more advanced for those older groups. 
but most guys coming in player advancing towards a player most players are right handed so my focus and I understand my opponent is right handed so his dominant hand is a right hand so watch what I'm going to do in slow motion I'm going to hit his dominant shoulder and I'm going to come in with my other hand and dislodge the ball all right so again down face up to me there so dominant shoulder and execute because most guys can hold the ball with their dominant hand so hold the ball with your dominant hand so I'm going to disarm that hand by hitting the shoulder and then I'm going to really quick so just to, as Ushin comes to me just have, watch this happen so it actually happens when you do it really quickly referees are no one will see it and you will dispossess the player so as he's coming towards you it's again and it's really quick action all right again practice this at a very slow pace and hopefully in a game situation guys or girls will be able to execute that tackle